So now we are going to have another topic. called function constructors. Okay, now you can see that is I'm using a capital letter F. Okay, so in all my previous examples you will see F is small case letter. Okay, but in this case F is capital letter. So which means it is a built-in function available as part of the JavaScript language itself. Okay, so now I'm going to say something like EA and B and at the same time I might be saying something like alert uh, sum equals hold on, A plus B dot to string okay so I can call something like this. So, so this is pretty much uh, you know straightforward. I am saying that you are have you are going to have a new function, okay, which will be accepting two parameters a and b, and at the same time this is the body of the function. Okay, so it is something like it is very similar to whatever you are going to declare something like this So instead of writing this way, okay, you are writing in a single statement using a function constructor. It is called as a function constructor as part of the JavaScript itself. Okay, okay. So this is the you know other way of writing the same thing. So we are familiar to this one as yes, because you know we are familiar to anonymous functions and all the other stuff. Okay. So but there is another simple way to define the functions in this way as well. The only difference is that as long as you know the function is having very little body I mean very small body like you know one or two statements and at the same time you know as long as it is readable it is more efficient to do this way than this way. Okay but you say imagine you are having loops and if conditions and you know so forth something like you know 20 statements inside a function then you are good to go with this kind of declarations and definitions. this gives you an efficient execution as long as you know you have a very small number of statements and you know pretty much declared in the form of an expression okay so now if I try to execute this so you can see sum equal to 30 here okay so you can also declare something in a different way so imagine I'm going to declare another one uh, I call something like P here. If you are going to have more number of parameters, I can say A comma B comma C comma D. So if you have multiple parameters, you can define all of those as the first argument to the function. Okay, so the second argument will have the body itself. Okay, so even this is possible. Okay, so now I can say P of 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 so now this is possible as well okay so all these four will be directly going into those variables so if you are having more number of parameters you can have all of those parameters joined together as a first parameter to the function constructor itself okay so now I execute this so first one D will be executed and next the P so this is the first one and next we are going to have the sum as 100 which is the second one <laughs> 